Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa Augusto. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and you not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to grow the mathematics community. In this lesson, we are going to prove using the principle of mathematical induction. Now, please, let's go to the question on the board. Proof using the principle of mathematical induction for all n subset of n, 1 key plus 2 key plus 3 key plus dot 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 plus n key equals n squared times into bracket n plus 1 all squared divided by 4. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and leave your comments. Now we'll start with the base case where we take n equals 1. That is p1 equals 1 squared times 1 plus 1 all squared divided by 4, which is equal to 4 divided by 4 equals 1 and is equal to 1 p. Wow. Now we move to the inductive hypothesis step. That is, if we assume pn is true for all a subset of natural numbers, if you represent n by k, you are going to have pk equals 1 k plus 2 k plus 3 k plus dot 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 k k equals k squared into bracket k plus 1 all squared divided by 4. Wow. Now, using this hypothesis or using this assumption, we are going to prove that k plus 1 is also true. That is n plus 1. If you represent n by k, you have k plus 1. So you have p into bracket k plus 1 plus 1 k plus 2 k plus 3 k plus dot 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 k k plus k plus 1 all k equals k plus 1 all squared plus sorry times k plus 1 plus 1 all squared divided by 4. Remember that wherever you see n, you put k plus 1. So n, this is k plus 1. Now, from our assumption, if we add from 1 key to k key, this is our answer. So we are going to replace the whole of this by k squared times k plus 1 squared all divided by 4 plus k plus 1 key and prove that this equals that. Now, always look for common factors and do factorization or factorize them out. So now let's see. <clears throat> this is the same as k squared times k plus 1 all squared plus 4 times k plus 1 key all divided by 4. Wow. Now this equals, you can factorize k plus 1 squared out. k plus 1 squared times k divided by 4 plus 4 times k plus 1. And this will equal, wow. So this will equal to k plus 1 all squared here you have k squared times k squared plus 4k plus 1 all divided by 4. And this is a quadratic expression. It is even a perfect square. But let's do the factorization. We have uh, this is 4k, right? Yeah, this is 4, 2. Because 4 times k is 4k. 4 times 1 is 4. So, k squared plus 4k plus 4 is equal to k squared plus 2k plus 2k plus 4. And this will give us k into bracket k plus 1. Sorry, k plus 2. Plus 2 into bracket k plus 2. 
and this will give us k plus 2 times k plus 2, that is k plus 2 all squared. So we are going to have k squared, sorry, k plus 1 all squared into bracket k plus 2 all squared all divided by 4 as our t into bracket k plus 1. <coughs> And this is equal to, we have k plus 1 all squared, that is what we have. Now this is what? k plus 1 all squared times k plus 1 plus 1 all squared, all divided by 4. Hence proved. Now, you can write this as into bracket k plus 1 squared into bracket into bracket k plus 1 plus 1 all divided by 4 remember that the answer here could be written as n times n plus 1 all divided by 2 squared is the same thing because here this square will come here this square will come here and this square will come here from the uh, quotient law of our uh, indices or law of exponents. Now, from the principle of mathematical induction, pk plus 1 is true whenever pn is true. So you can conclude that from the principle of mathematical induction, pn is true for all n subset of natural numbers. Bye-bye. Please like my videos, share, leave your comments, subscribe for us to build the mathematics community.